Hello everyone, welcome. Thanks for joining me live. My name is Chris. I'm curator for the Daily Planet Theater at the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. And we have a very special program to bring you right now. We are at the coast of North Carolina releasing two sea turtles back into the wild. That's right, a handful of these green sea turtles that were cold stunned over the winter came to the museum to get medical treatment and to be rehabilitated to go back into the ocean and today we're releasing two of those into the wild so this is really exciting i'm joined by our chief veterinarian dr dan dombrowski who's doing the release right now at the beach hi dan hello can you hear me chris i can hear you yes can i can hear, hear you Okay, excellent. I can hear you too. Perfect. That's awesome. So yeah, glad to have everybody this join so us exciting. today. First of all, I'd like to introduce uh, Allison Dombrowski. She'll have to turn the camera around and introduce herself. If you can see Allison there, she's helping me uh, with the camera today. So I'm so uh, excited to invite everybody to join us. Uh, it's been several months since we've worked with uh, these green turtles. These are green turtles that the museum has been working with 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 rehabilitation um these guys came in as cold stun animals uh in the winter in january and since then uh have been with us receiving care and attention uh and medicine and, and now they're really healthy and ready to go back to the ocean and, and sort of join their friends so i'm gonna uh walk this way we're right now at the uh fort fisher uh state management area so we're here at the beach on the beautiful north carolina coast I have, uh, we have two turtles with us today. O3 Diamond is the one that we're probably gonna release first. And you guys will get a chance to, to take a look and hopefully enjoy the actually beautiful weather, perfect weather for, for turtle turtles. Tell us a little bit about these turtles. How old do you think they are? Yeah, so these are juvenile green turtles. They're probably between three, uh, seven years of age. So these are not adults. These animals are about six or seven pounds. Um, they're going to get about 50 times, I, I think if I do my math right, about 50 times this size. So they'll end up getting about three to 400 pounds as adults. Right now, we can't tell the difference between males and females. So these guys uh, right now at this stage are, you know, youngins. They're going to go out and really stay in the shallows, um, the, the inner coastal waters, the coastal waters. At this stage in their life, they like to eat a lot of sea grasses and algae. So. Um, that's kind of neat about these turtles. They start out eating a lot more uh, invertebrates and, and fish and sort of protein-based foods, but at this stage, we, we want them to eat their veggies. All right, can you guys hear me again? Yes. All right, so we're about to put number three back in the water. Excellent. Folks, if you've got more questions, put them in the comments here and we'll pose them to Dan. Yeah, yeah if you guys have a few questions, I'd be glad to answer those. I think uh, uh, another turtle we're gonna get ready um, and, and release as well. How exciting. That turtle took off. He got out of there as quick as he or she he, could. He did, absolutely. Ready to go back out in the ocean. So, so uh, a question came ahead. in for you. What's the survival rate for these turtles? Yeah, so that, that's a great question. The, the truth is we, we probably, uh, it, it's hard to get data like that. This is an animal that lives uh, a long time. These guys probably live 60, 
um, years at a minimum, I usually say uh, maybe 100 years. They live a very long time. They don't mature for a lot of years. So usually these green turtles, we, we think they need to be probably 20 years old even to be mature, maybe, maybe even older than that um, before they can reproduce. And so uh, when they're small, the hatchlings, females lay a lot of eggs. They're a big turtle, so they have a nest of maybe 100 uh, you know, eggs per nesting per nest. And we think that somewhere, you know, maybe one or even less than one statistically of, of each egg in that nest is going to survive. So one in a thousand, one in 10,000, you know, there are numbers that are uh, astronomical. Fortunately, though, once those babies uh, get a little size to them, the hatchling, they have a lot less uh, sort of predators and risks in the ocean. So then once they get to a bigger size, they can make it a lot longer. So we lost you when you were telling us the story of how the turtles came to the museum. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, so these, these turtles came to us uh, through a, a, a coordination with our NC aquariums. And so there was a cold stunning event that there were about four or 500 turtles off the East Coast between Christmas and into January this year. The, the, the temperatures dropped, there was strange weather, and these turtles got stranded. They, they're uh, a species that uh, we say cold-blooded or they're, they're um, ectotherms, they get their heat from the outside. And so when the uh, environmental temperatures drop to a level that's below what they can handle, they, they can't really respond. So they were you know, floating around out there. Um, this event happened and there were hundreds of turtles that were brought into the STAR facility. That's a sea turtle uh, assistance and rehab facility associated with our North Carolina Aquarium. And they uh, made a call and, and we responded and, and had the opportunity to help rehab and care for eight turtles this year. So these are two of the eight. Um, some were released uh, right away and sort of recovered. These guys had uh, sores or lesions or wounds on their shells that lasted a little longer and were a little harder to treat, but now they're ready to go. They're super healthy and, and excited to get out. That's so exciting to hear. And it's so great to see them uh, getting released. So many of the staff at the museum, you gave us the opportunity yeah. to help in their care and, and help feed them and yep. keep a, you know, a little bit of a lookout on them. We, we had uh, everyone on the, the museum staff, our, our aquatics team really helped keep all of our water quality and our aquatic systems good. They did a lot of hard work over these months to help take care of these turtles. And then all the other staff pitched in to help with uh, feeding. These guys have to be fed every day and monitored and some needed treatments and, and medicine. Um, so our, our museum staff has been instrumental in sort of the whole process of, of rehabbing and taking care of these guys. It's been amazing. And now I get to be here. I, I wish everybody could join me uh, here at the beach. Uh, it's, again, it's kind of a beautiful turtle day today. Um, yesterday was World uh, Sea Turtle Day. We're, we're a day late, but anyway, happy World Sea Turtle Day. Uh, this is a great way to celebrate, even, even belatedly. <laughs> That's right. So this turtle uh, is number 59. Uh, its name with us is Topaz. These are all named after North Carolina gemstones, uh, kind of uh, oh, nice. dear to us at the museum. One thing I want to nice. say, if, if we're still uh, have a good reception, now we have, I don't know if you can see, there's a little paper here, a, a bag of papers. Um, we have permits, special permits, to be able to work with or handle these sea turtles. Um, they're all, uh, sea turtles in North Carolina are all protected species, and so you've got to have special permits to, to be able to work with them. Um, if you happen to see, if folks see a, a hurt or injured sea turtle um, when they're out and about, there is a sea turtle hotline that our North Carolina uh, Wildlife Resource Commission folks uh, take care of and monitor. So if you see a sick or a hurt sea turtle, Honestly, even a, a dead sea turtle, um, if one has died and, and you see it on the beach, you can call that number and report it, and that'll be a way that they can come and help assist and, and take care of that turtle. All right, I think I'm going to take Excellent. this. You've one. got a nice crowd out there on the beach, too. We do, we do. We have a whole crowd. I'm, I'm trying to share with them, too. So. Oh. I love this. I'm going to take this one down. If you're just joining us, folks, welcome. We are releasing sea turtles back into the wild, back into the ocean today. That came to us after being cold stunned back in the winter.
<laughs> One more question. Do you know where the turtles may head to from here? <laughs> that's a real that's a really good question too. So I can tell you that was uh, Allison and I, that was our conversation in the truck uh, on the way here. Um, we know uh, we know a lot about sea turtles, but there's a lot we don't know, and there's a lot that we're kind of really learning um, right now or in the last few years uh, as we go. And so we, we know that, that um, these juvenile turtles spend a lot of time in the grass flats, that they're, like I said, transitioning from a diet of crabs and fish and sort of meaty things to more uh, macro algaes and, and um, you know, plant-based diet. So we know they spend their time in these shallow waters with, with feeding on these, these plants at this size. We know that their range goes all the way um, up north. They, they occur all the way down the east coast of the U.S., all the way down into and through the tropics along the east coast, uh, even along South America, Central South America. So these individual turtles, I don't know where they're going to go. They may hang around here. We definitely have them this size in our waters this time of year but we know that they also travel great distances. So um, that's a really good question. I, I think they're gonna go to wherever they find good food is what we decided. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, excellent questions, everybody. Dan, great job. Thank you, it was great. I, I'm glad to have the opportunity. This is one of the best parts of my job. I, I love to release uh, turtles after rehab and, and sort of get them back into the wild. So I wouldn't trade it for anything. Thank you all for joining me. Thanks for tuning in. Keep an eye out for us uh, on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. We're doing cool stuff all the time. Bye, everybody.